My name is Xavier, and the poem I will be reading is called Choosing Some Suitable Pets by Nick Tezik. Big bugs and fat slugs and blood-sucking leeches. Things that come wriggling from plump plums and peaches. Growls and howls and screamers and screechers. Vile-bodied vermin with phallus of features. Rubbery, blubbery, blubbery, deep water species of sea beasts whose bodies get watched up on beaches, appalling things crawling from damp nooks and niches, slimy life climbing where any light reaches, hairy nits and hornets, the grubs of such creatures. It's hard to choose which pets to give your teeth. This is Spencer Curry, and I am from SCH, and I'm reading Lawnmower from... All the Small Poems by Verily Worth. The lawnmower grins its teeth over the grass, spitting out a thick green spray. Its head is too full of iron and oil to know what it throws away. The lawn's whole crop of chopped, soft, delicious green hay. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm reading the book, the poem Overbrag by Jack. Krulecki. And here we go. A callow knight in armor, appropriately brave, displayed his lack of wisdom and charged into my cave. He challenged me to battle. In moments it was through. He made me a tasty morsel. His horse was tasty too. Hello, my name is Marvel Connie <clears throat> at the school SCH. I am reading a poem, The Ghoul from the book Nightmares, Poems to Trouble Your Sleep, by Jack, Pol by Jack Polecki. The Ghoul. The gruesome ghoul, the grizzly ghoul, without the slightest noise, waits patiently beside the school to feast on girls and boys. He lunges fiercely through the air as they come out to play. He grabs a couple by the hair and drags them far away. He cracks their bones and snaps their backs and squeezes out their lungs. He chews, their, he chews their thumbs like candy snacks and pulls apart their tongues. He slices their stomachs and bites their hearts and tears their flesh to threads. He swallows their toes like toasted tarts and gobbles down their heads. Fingers, elbows, hands and knees, and arms and legs and feet. He eats them with delight and ease, for every part's a treat. And when the gruesome grizzly ghoul has nothing left to chew, he hurries to another school and waits, perhaps for you.